Oh, Miss Miley Cyrus, she was trolling Blake Shelton on The Voice, and it was hilarious. And Selena Gomez gave a very heartfelt speech about her life and death situation. Oh, scary. And is The weekend trying to get Bella Hadid back, or is he trying to get with a new girl? Ooh. I do not understand this guy. Ooh. You guys are talking about all this Ooh. right now on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Madison Conklin. We are kicking the Daily Rewind off with a little subtle shade, but it was all in good fun, of course. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah. So I was about during, to say, yeah. you better add yeah, that in. exactly, exactly. I'm not crazy. I know that Miley Cyrus and Blake Shelton are great friends. Yeah. They get along. They're both on The Voice this season. And during last night's episode of The Voice, Miley Cyrus posted a really funny behind-the-scenes video of her and Blake Shelton. Um, of course, Blake is sipping out of a solo Cup, which uh, we talked about. Love. Always he love. is just casually drinking, living his life, doing what he does. Always stay support. true to his country I roots. Him. I absolutely love it. Um, but she trolled him a little bit because, as you guys all know, Blake was recently named People Magazine's Sexiest, Sexiest Man, Man alive, alive, which some people were like, not Some deserved. people were pissed. And I'm like, yeah. Blake Shelton is a handsome devil. I like, know. I know, but not everyone was into it. Yeah. So Miley obviously kind of played off of that and just started kind of making fun of him. Like he was sipping from his cup. She's like, Pinky's up for the sexiest man alive. <laughs> like all this stuff going back and forth. Yeah. And then finally she said she actually has a better idea of who is the sexiest. Take oh. a look. No one knows more about being sexy than me. What? I love that she's like, it's me. I'm of like, course. Yes, I mean, of course, girl. Miley is beautiful. Now, sexiest woman alive. Let's yeah, get you on that exactly. list. Exactly. I love it. And I just want to also take a second because she looked amazing last night in The Voice. Oh, she has gorgeous. totally embraced this like new Miley. I know. Serenity, and she looked amazing in this ankle length sequin gown. She posted a really cute video on her Instagram. I was just feeling so it. glam. I mean, her I'm glam team it. was on point last I night. I completely agree. I'm like I said, I love this new Miley. I think she's owning it. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish Katy Perry would maybe take a page out of her book and just kind of like oh. revert back. But oh. I know, I know. Look at me now. I'm, I'm shady. Girl, you now are I'm getting shady. shady. Okay, we're not gonna talk about Katy Perry just yet because oh. clearly the girl's gaining attention of maybe the weekend. I don't know. Just oh dear lord, here we go. You guys are gonna have to hold on though before we talk about that connection because first. We got to talk about our girl, Selena Gomez. Okay, so let's first start off. Mm -hmm. She, the AMA's big comeback, mm -hmm. fell flat. You're right. And she wasn't receiving the best of reviews about her AMA's right. performance. But, um, and I did note that that same night of the AMA's, I told you, she, mm -hmm. and on, on her Instagram story, she was in a, a plane, a charter plane, yeah. going somewhere. It makes sense she was flying to New York on a red eye. Yeah, for this um, lupus event, which I think this is why this story is so important, because yesterday, I mean, myself included, everyone got wrapped up in, did Selena leap lip sync? Yeah. Was she singing to a track? Did she have anxiety before the show? It was just all this like gossip going on, which yeah. is true. It's Hollywood, it's celebrities. That's our job to report on that stuff. But this is such a great event and Selena definitely, mm -hmm. I think, came into her own. Um, so she flew to New York for this Lupus Research Alliance event and she gave a very, very heartfelt speech about her struggle with lupus yeah. and all the events leading up to her kidney transplant. So yeah. she started off saying she was diagnosed five or six years ago. Um, then she went into her story about the lupus related disease that basically led to her kidney transplant. Um, oh she said, gosh. quote, maybe I wasn't necessarily good at knowing what that meant, so it actually got to a point where it was life or death. Thankfully, one of my best friends gave me her kidney and it was the ultimate gift of life. That really speaks volumes, mm -hmm. as, you know, because many times, and I don't want to discredit any particular celebrity, but many times celebrities will just give money and say, all right, put my face on this right. foundation. But it, it speaks volumes when celebrities are very invested mm -hmm. in foundations that affect them directly or that right. support someone they know. You know, so the Absolutely. fact that she is so outspoken about lupus mm -hmm. and wanting to find a cure and speaking about this life or death situation to yeah. thousands of people that don't know her but know her because of her fame, right. I think it's very honorable. I, I agree. And, and I it, think, I just I think her. sometimes, <laughs> I do too, I think we get caught up in, you mm -hmm. know, her first TV performance back and all of this drama that yeah. surrounded it and it's like, 
this is actually really important <laughs> that yes. she's speaking about this. And at the end of her speech, she said that her goal is to continue helping with lupus research mm -hmm. um, in hopes that no young woman ever has to live with it in the future. Because as you guys know, right now, there's no cure for lupus. Yeah. So you can only keep it at bay. I it's can see, scary. I can totally see Selena departing from music and going mm -hmm. right into like this research, whole research, Crusader medicine. Mode, yeah. Yes. I agree. Crusader mode. I like, I like that. that. All right, Selena now, the Crusader. I know, the lupus crusader. I like it. <laughs> All right, you guys, now we got to end our day with a little relationship drama triangle. I don't know what's happening. I, I have know. so many questions for the weekend right now. Yes. I wish he could just be here so we could pick his brain. But here's what's been going on. So last night, The weekend and Katy Perry were seen going into the same L.A. restaurant. Together? So they were pictured going in separately, but both going in, I assume, around the same time. Now, Hollywood Life reports that photographers couldn't get a shot in the restaurant of them at the same table. Because obviously, you guys, you can't just be bombarding into restaurants. Yeah. Stealing people's no, no, pics. No. It doesn't really work like that. But I just think it is a weird coincidence that they were both in the same place at the same time. Well, I thought Katie was touring. So why is she, is she in, was it in LA? Yep. Huh. I know. Well, isn't she with our pa Rob Pattinson? Wasn't that the last rumor we've heard? This is what I think. It's either that it was just a coincidence and two of music's biggest stars right now were, were probably at, the same at Craig's place at the same or time. Soho House, like many <laughs> freaking clubs do. They were at the same too. place at the same time, or they were old friends catching up, or they're both single and they were given, I don't know. I feel like the weekend's like definitely like post Selena phase. Just trying okay. To figure Katy out. Perry is totally not the weekend's type. I know. We've seen Bella, we've seen Selena. Katy Perry is just, way I, I off agree. the charts. I, for I mean, him. I'm hoping it's not, not true, his type. especially because. This comes just days after the weekend was spotted outside Sneaking of Bella Hadid's Sneaking out of Bella Hadid. Sneaking, like, dodging. Mm, well, and she's in Shanghai right now for Victoria's Secret right. Fashion Show, so maybe exactly. that's why he found someone to go on a dinner date exactly. with. Just for fun, well, just for and, kicks. I mean, sources have told Hollywood Life that he's focused right now on just rebuilding their friendship, but like you said, her being in Shanghai, he also, sources are saying, that he sent her a big bouquet of flowers. Sweet. Sweet. Giving the wrong but, message, yes. <laughs> but maybe still working on rebuilding the friendship. A source told Hollywood right. Life, quote, Abel sent her a gorgeous, huge bouquet of flowers along with a super sweet note telling her how amazing she is and how proud of her he is. That doesn't really sound like just rebuilding a friendship, but trying to rebuild that relationship. The intimacy. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I I would not be shocked if Bella and The Weeknd did rekindle. I know. I'm I kind, kind of, of hoping I for it, actually. I it since we have... Justin, Justin and, and Selena. Selena. I wouldn't mind. I mean, I feel like at first when I heard Bella and The Weeknd were dating, it was kind of random to me. Yeah. But then they were had such a great relationship that I'm kind from of- From what we saw. Yeah, from yeah. what we saw. Obviously, it didn't end great. They had a little bad blood Yeah, there. yeah. But you know what? I'm for it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait and this see. This would be the news of 2017 if be. they do get back together. This would. This, this would. will be an everlasting love. All right, we're going to go work <laughs> on our vocals. So you guys let us know what you think about all of these things. What do you think about Miley Cyrus trolling Blake Shelton, all in good fun, of course, on his title of Sexiest Man Alive? What do you think about Selena Gomez's speech mm -hmm. about her lupus oh, yeah. and her kidney transplant? And lastly, what is going on in the weekend's noggin? Is he trying to get back with Bella? Is he trying to get with Katie? No. What is happening? <laughs> Would it be the reconciliation of 2017 if him and Bella got back together? Oh, I don't know. Talk it all out down there in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. We love you guys. Have a fabulous yes. rest of your day. We'll see you next time on Holly Scoops Daily Rewind. Bye, Bye guys.